Is this thing on? Is it on? That's good because I'm here right now. So let's get into this episode of Fast Fix Friday. Oh. <laughs> you guys, I'm really working on the intro to Fast Fix Friday. So it's like a new DIY show that we're doing on Fridays where we're either going to fix something or make something. And I just thought Fast Fix Friday was catchy and it's a tongue twister like Peter Piper picked the pickle pe pickle peppers. Peter Piper picked the pickle peppers. You know, you guys get the gist of this. Anyways, today we're going to make something with conditioner we're not going to fix anything heaven forbid that we fix anything just yet you guys but if you have anything you would like to, me to fix please leave a comment down below and i will try to fix it but hold up if you're not subscribed to the channel make sure you subscribe so you can join our awesome ohana i would love to have you a part of our ohana make sure you're following me on instagram make sure you follow me on all my other social media sites especially pinterest and facebook because i am most active on those two so make at three well three <laughs> facebook and pinterest and all of it i'm just active on those three sites you guys so today we're not gonna fix in this fast fix friday we're gonna make something fast though so either it's gonna be a fast diy or it's gonna be a diy where we fix something and today we're going to make conditioner slime and all you need for this easy easy conditioner and slime is some conditioner so you guys and a couple of other ingredients we need some more other ingredients but that's the major one for this Fast Fix Friday. So you guys, let's go make this conditioner slime. And let's go. So you want to start off with Elmer's glue. We're going to use the whole bottle of this Elmer's glue. And you guys know I like to get all the glue out of this bottle. That's just how I am. I like to get the glue out. I don't like to waste things. I don't. So we're going to use a half a cup of conditioner. This is the VO5 Herbal Essence Conditioner. And you know what? It smells so good. So, so good. And it's only 88 cents, you guys. It's pretty cheap. So you want to pour all that conditioner inside your glue. And you just want to start mixing. So I really thought this was going to be a beautiful rose color. But as I kept mixing it, it got lighter and lighter, you guys. Look how light it is. It's really light. But I am mixing. You just want to mix until all of it is combined. And now you want to add your shaving cream. Now, I suggest you don't use a lot of shaving cream. Just a little. I would say about one-fourth cup of shaving cream, you guys, is enough. And now you want to mix your shaving cream into your glue and conditioner mix you guys now this part was because I used this little tiny bow so I sort of struggled a lot with mixing in the conditioner and the glue and the foam the shaving cream so you guys bear with me you know what I just had to hold it and pray that I didn't get in any it everywhere so I'm sorry if I'm kind of out of frame you guys just please forgive me for that okay so you just want to mix it and once you mix it you want to add one fourth teaspoon of baking soda twice so we're going to do the first one and the second one and we're going to add that and with our baking soda mixture you want to make sure it's mixed in really really well a lot of people don't like to mix in the baking soda really well and sometimes that can actually cause your slime to be clumpy and may not even activate so you want to make sure you're mixing in your baking soda mixture really really well and of course again I am out of frame you guys but I just wanted to get up close with being out of frame just to mix it and I'm left-handed so I do everything backwards so once it's stiff like egg white stiff which I love this part you want to finally add your saline solution or contact solution and once you add that you want to add enough you don't have to add a lot like I did right here <laughs> 
but you want to add enough mucoise to the mixture and then you want to begin to stir it. You can use your hands but you guys know I don't like sticky slime. I think as you get kind of older you don't like messy slime, you just want a nice slime to play with. Now I'm not about that sticky life. I'm just not about the stickiness. I like a slime that just molds and you play with and it's not everywhere. I'm not about the Nickelodeon slime. I'm not. So once it's whipped like this and it's really thick and fluffy as it's supposed to be, now you finally take it with your hands. This is like the dreaded part for me. But you know what? Once I mix it together, you guys, then it becomes really smooth. So right now I'm mixing it. You guys can tell I'm just really not about a sticky slime. I have no clue why you guys, I just really don't know about the sticky slime. It's just not for me. So if you like a sticky slime, let me know why. And if you don't like a sticky slime, let me know why. Thumbs up this video regardless, you guys. So right now we're just mixing it and mixing it until it becomes smooth. See how smooth it is finally five five hours later you guys is finally smooth. So once it's smooth and nice you can play with it. Look at how common this is and how beautiful it is to play with. So you guys, I'm going to stop talking. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in our next slime video. Boy you guys